Hey there friends on YouTube. My name is Roger with Electronics and Gadgets. If this is the first time here, thanks for stopping by. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you've been here before. Thank you. My next video, I wanted to talk about how to clean your screen without causing damage to it. And this of course can apply to any electronic touch screen um, or your computer screen, so your iPad, your iPhone, your computers. But I want to specifically, when I talk about everything, I want to address your phone in general. There are right and wrong products to use when cleaning your phone. So let's talk about a few of them. If you've ever heard that your phone harbors more bacteria than a toilet seat, it's true and pretty gross. With that in mind, you should be regularly disinfecting the device that touches your skin multiple times throughout the day. Cleaning your phone can help make it last longer, but how often do you need to do it? Ideally, you should clean your phone at least once a day by following your phone's manual for cleaning instructions. Cleaning your device the wrong way, like using rubbing alcohol and a paper towel, can strip away the coatings, which I've discussed <clears throat> in previous videos on here, they're called oleophobic, that protect your screen. There are safer items that will do the trick. Use disinfectant wipes or the right alcohol-based solution. If you touch your phone after touching a public door handle or grocery cart, your first thought might be to clean it with rubbing alcohol. Don't. Straight alcohol can strip the oleophobic and hydrophobic coatings that keep oil and water from damaging your phone's display and other ports. Get rid of fingerprints with a microfiber cloth. This is something I do multiple times a day. Um, fingerprint smudges are hard to prevent because of the skin constantly produces oils. This means that every time you pick up your phone, it's bound to get fingerprints all over it. The safest and most effective way to clean your screen is with a microfiber cloth. If the screen is in desperate need of cleaning, use distilled water to dampen the microfiber cloth, then wipe the screen down with the dry part of the microfiber cloth. Avoid putting any water directly on the screen. This method can be used on the back and sides of your phone as well. Remove sand and lint with a tape trick. Personally, I've never got sand in my phone, but lint and sand can get stuck in the small ports on your phone and in the crevices where the screen meets the body. The best way to remove sand and lint is scotch tape. You can lay it along the creases and speaker, roll it up gently, place it on the ports. The tape stickiness will pull out any lint or sand that may be stuck in your phone. Wipe away makeup with a damp cloth. When you have a full face of makeup and need to make a call, guess what foundation is about to stick? That's right, your phone screen. And while you may use makeup remover to try to off your makeup every night, you should never use it on your screen because again of the chemicals that are gonna take off the oleophobic coating. My advice and one of the easiest ones is again, put a little bit of water on a microfiber cloth wipe it down, use the dry part of the microfiber cloth to finish taking off any of the oils, smudges, and smears. I'm going to put a link up in the description, uh, down below in the description, as to where you can get microfiber cloths. Um, they're very cheap. I usually buy a bag of them at a time, um, and I'm not talking the little tiny ones that come with your phone. I'm talking a nice size, like a washcloth um, microfiber cloth. How to clean waterproof phones. If you have a waterproof resistant phone rated for IP67 and above, you can rinse it with water. Although these phones like the new iPhone 14, 13, Galaxies can withstand submersion, it's not the best idea to dunk your, water, your phone into water to clean it. Dunking the phone in water or running it under faucet will get water into the ports, which means you won't be able to charge it until they're dry. Remember, having a water-resistant phone is more about peace of mind in case it drops in the water or accidents, and then you're purposefully taking the phone and putting it in the water to clean it. 
Window Cleaner. You can clean your mirrors and windows with Window Cleaner and they're squeaky clean so Window Cleaner must be okay for use on your phone. Wrong. Some phones such as the iPhones have a protective coating. Again you're going to hear me talk about this a lot. The oleophobic coating that resists water and oil can wear out over time. Using harsh cleaners will strip that coating off and leave your phone more vulnerable to scratches. Kitchen cleaners. A screen scratch resistant properties won't get ground down by cleaning agents but strip that protective coating is still a problem. That's why Apple suggests not using household cleaning products to clean your iPhone slash iPad, which includes Bleep Beach, Barkeeper's Friend, uh, which is an abrasive formula that may harm the protective layers. Paper towels. They may be the go for cleaning for your desk, but keep them away from your phone. The paper can shred, making the debris on your phone much worse. Paper towels can also end up leaving scratches on your screen. Rubbing alcohol. Since many newer phones have a protective coating, rubbing alcohol will wear it away more quickly over time, causing your phone to be prone to scratches. Make sure to check for alcohol in the productive product ingredients of any safe to use phone screen cleaners. Apple says to avoid alcohol when cleaning its devices. Compressed air. Your phone is delicate, so blowing an intense amount of air into the portals can cause damage, especially to the microphones. Tech companies like Apple specifically warn do not use compressed air. Dish soap and hand soap. While your dish and hand soaps may be gentle, the only way to use them is to combine them with water. Most phone companies suggest keeping water away from your phone, so again, stick to the damp cloth. Vinegar. This is another no-no. Vinegar will strip the screen's coating. It's oleophobic. You could use a very dilute vinegar to clean the parts of your phone, like a 50-50 mix with distilled water for cleaning the sides and back. But again, I suggest a water or a lower percent of alcohol with your microfiber cloth. So that was my video on how to clean your iPhone, iPad display screens. Um, to recap, again, the best way is microfiber cloth with a rubbing alcohol that's not pure. It should be dis diluted, distilled 70, 80%. Um, use a little bit, put it on your, your microfiber cloth, wipe it, wipe it down with the dry side, and it should be good to go. So, I hope you found my video to be helpful. Thank you for being here. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. And until next time, I'm out.